What's going on guys, welcome back to LSPDFR. Today we're going to be doing a bike patrol around the city area and we're going to be using the BMW RT1200, I believe that's what it's called and it's made by the Herc um, but I'll leave the link in the description down below so you guys can check that bike out and install it and have a go yourself and uh, thanks to Skillful Corpse, he's uh, created a New South Wales uh, library that we can slap on the bike so it looks more Australian and to um, I think it's Blobby Smurtho who created the Highway Patrol uniform uh, which is also New South Wales so with all them three ticking the boxes we can now do a patrol on a bike looking like a New South Wales police officer uh, so we're just going to run uh, traffic tonight and we'll take some calls if necessary uh, but we'll only be a backup unit anyway, since we're on a bike, we can't really uh, transport prisoners or anything like that. So we're just going to be on standby for support, and we'll just run traffic and uh, see what's going down in the city tonight. So, hope you guys in enjoy, and let's get the patrol on the way. Attention all units, we have assistance needed in Textile City. Alright, so I got reports of a uh, security guard requesting for assistance over at Textile City. So I uh, may as well go and take that call out. And uh, dispatch has requested us to respond to code 2. So we'll go over there. Uh, just lights for now. Whoa! Make sure we uh, keep our eyes on the road. These people tend to pull out. Uh, they don't see you coming. Hey, looking forward to seeing you on set, buddy. So it looks like we're gonna have to wrap around onto the main one of the main roads. So it is uh it is Saturday night, it's a night patrol uh, we're gonna be doing. So Oh they just tend to stop just like that. Uh, so it's a night patrol, so uh, we will be doing I'd like to, I really want to do around the main streets or around uh, Vinewood because there's a lot of traffic and a lot of stuff going on uh, over there, especially on a Saturday night. But uh, random callouts like this will take them and we'll check them out and see how, how we go, uh, especially if someone's requesting assistance for some reason. Looks like it's going to be at this hospital here. Make contact with the security guard. Hopefully, this guy doesn't pull out any weapons. G'day, what's going on? Press Y to speak. Uh, this is individual was admitted to the facility facility recently. My god, I can't not read. Uh, while receiving treatment they have been abuses to staff. We have a zero tolerance policy on abuse of staff. We expect them to face appropriate action for their crime. Okay, so let's uh let's see if we can have a chat to this guy. I don't know how we can interact any further. Um, okay, so it's saying plus Y. I hate everyone here, uh, everything about them. Let's just, uh, just want to keep an eye on his hands, make sure he doesn't just make any sudden movements and pull out any weapons. Uh, they treat you like shit. I totally agree. Someone's apparently agree with what he's saying. And that's when they're not draining blood or your wallet. Whoa, I knew that was going to happen. Dumbass. Drop, don't you dare drop it. Wow, you're so lucky I did not just shoot you right then. Loser! Wow, okay, so I should have had my weapon out ready <laughs> to defuse that situation. Luckily he didn't shoot any any rounds off. Uh, so everyone's calm. Now they are. Drake Drake Williams, you uh you can come over here with me. It says you can review the transcript in the computer and then press N to end the call out. So that's what we're going to do. We'll release him here. We'll make him, make him sit. It looks like I am 
<laughs> okay, looks like I'm glitched for some reason. Uh, why can't I release you? It's not letting me release him. Okay, let's just try something real quick. Isn't it a great day? Do that. No. Okay, we're still holding on to him for some reason. Um, I don't know why we can't let him go. Let's uh, let's call for a prisoner transport and pick him up. And they can deal with that. Wait for them to arrive. Thought we've got two units trying to come and pick him up for some reason. Let's, uh, let's jump on this computer and see uh, what we can do. What it was saying. It said you could access the computer somehow. Alright, log in. Call details. Uh, security guard requesting assistance. No, we don't want to press that button. Um, head database. I don't know. Uh, vehicle, I don't know. Alright, well, it doesn't seem like you can actually access the call out, but uh, we're going to go ahead and end it there. Attention and, all uh, units, we'll we are code, code 4. four. Yes, and then we'll head back up to uh, uh, West Vinewood, I guess, in the main city area, and we'll continue our patrol from there. Well, um, looks like we've got, what seems to be a motorcycle uh, that went flying through that intersection, uh, disregarding the red light, and looks like they're running that red light as well, and he's not wearing a helmet, so he's definitely going to be pulled over and questioned. So, uh, okay, there he goes, he puts on his helmet now when he stops. So in Australia, it's actually illegal to ride a motorbike without a helmet. That's actually a re uh, regulation that you need to have a helmet while riding a bike. So since we're playing uh, Australian styles, we're going to uh, we're gonna enforce that rule. All right, you know, mate, uh, two things. You're riding without a helmet, and as soon as we stop, you put your helmet on. Now you can uh, get so it's too late for that. Silly. And secondly, um, you've gone flying through that intersection, uh, almost killing yourself and causing an accident. So I'm just going to ask for your, uh, your ID, please. Oh, why get the hell out of the way! Um, Fucking ask for shit this ID. Stain. Derby Gib. Alright, you want to sit on your bike. Uh, actually, might take the keys off you. Yeah, thanks. Sit right there. Well, I've taken the uh, keys off him uh, because I don't want him to take off. Because he's definitely going to be, uh, be fined uh, for multiple. Uh, what do you call it? I don't know what. Let's uh, let's see what comes back with the name Derby Gib. Okay, so he's got a suspended license, uh, but he has no warrants out for his arrest. He's been stopped twice before, um, so there you go. He's in a whole lot of trouble. Uh, let's just see what the what comes back on the bike, even though it's got the generic um, number plate. Uh, owner is a Francis McAllister. This vehicle has been reported as stolen. Okay, well there you go. There you go. So uh, let's let's uh, get this guy off the bike. Alright sir, so, so uh, looks like you're in a whole lot of trouble. This bike has been reported stolen. It's also coming back that you've got a suspended license as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to ask you... Why is it? I don't know why it's duplicating for. I'm going to ask you to uh, get off the bike uh, and then I'm going to place you under arrest. Hey, what the 
Attention, this is dispatch. We have a 390 in Alpha. Respond code 2. Gonna let me place him under arrest, or are we just gonna stand here? What are we gonna do? Blimey. Come on. Charlie 4, roger that. We'll look for those maggots. Alright, um. So we're gonna have to just order him on the ground. So go on the ground. Enough! Everybody's losing their shit now. You shit stain. Alright, so that's the only way I was able to arrest him, unfortunately, because the other way wasn't working. Let's uh let's bring him over to the sidewalk. This shit is wet. I don't know why he's wearing his helmet now. So we're going to quickly search him, make sure he's got nothing on him. No illegal, uh, illegal drugs, any weapons or anything like that. Uh, several cans of spray paint. Uh, so he may be an arsonist as well, or graffiti arsonist. Uh, which is not really good. So this guy is, uh, yeah, a bag full of fun I guess. But uh, let's... Let's just uh, see if he's got any uh, alcohol in his system. We'll run him, check him for that. I don't think you can actually do that while they're in, in cuffs. There we go, waiting for the breathalyzer. Uh, 0.064%. So he's definitely got alcohol in his body, so yeah, he's uh, he's in a whole lot of trouble. So what we're going to do is uh, call for a prisoner transport and get this guy straight to prison. Um, and he's going to be fined, he's going to be hit hard big time uh, with a lot of fines. And uh, while well, we're picking him up, we'll get a uh, tow truck out here pick up the bike. Uh, we'll just wait around uh, to make sure everything's cleared up. I don't know why everything's being duplicated um, for. Looks like something's got to be out of date for some reason. But nevertheless, we'll get through this episode today. Alright, so. Got the prisoner picked up. Wow, well, all that. Well, the prisoner picked up, uh, the bike's been picked up, and uh, we can then head out and we'll call that code 4 and continue our patrol. Alright, so if you guys didn't see that, there was a vehicle. Alien report a drug deal. Dispatch finished. This vehicle here did a legal U turn as soon as he saw me coming um, and through the other way, and now he's running through. Copy that, we're in the vicinity. Two traffic uh, red lights. He's going to be running through a third one. Wow, almost hit that vehicle. Looks like we're going to be in pursuit, maybe, if we can get in front of him. Wow, and he's just lost control. It's we have a suspect resisting arrest in. Uh... Grande Sonora Desert. So it looks like it'll be a possible stolen vehicle, so uh, we're going to be in pursuit. Uh, I don't know what this kind of vehicle it is. We'll see if we can get close enough and uh, we'll check the plate. Okay, it's a Sentinel. It's definitely stolen the vehicle, looks like it's going to be occupied by one female. Now let's go ahead and let the Now this is where we have to be really careful because AI doesn't uh, realise that I'm on... Oh, what well, looks like she's running. Let's, let's see if we can catch her. Ma'am on the ground. Stop running on the ground. Wow, is that a guy or she's freaking smashing it in hills? Look at that! Wow, drop it. LSPD, get your hands up. Is that a woman or a guy? 
Wow, she was full fanging it in them hills. Alright, we got one in custody. James Franco. <laughs> James Franco, wow. Oh my god, so we got a cross dresser. Wow, that's the first I've ever had that. Um, Alright, let's just quickly run the name. Uh, see what comes back for James Franco. License is valid, no active warrants. Alright. Now it looks like they were in a stolen vehicle, so let's uh, let's just check and make sure they got nothing illegal on them. Mira, that's totally fucked up, okay? Uh, a basketball. I don't want to ask where they're hiding that basketball, but it doesn't really matter. Let's get prisoner transport out here and get him or her picked up, whatever it is. Pretty impressive though, uh, you know, did a hundred meter sprint in the hills. I don't think uh, anyone could do that. This guy managed to. So we're just going to stay with him uh, while transport comes, make sure he doesn't leg it. Looks like they're on the way now. Yeah, just hit everything on the way, no worries. Right, got a uh, James Franco here for ya. Just uh, caught him in a stolen vehicle. Thank you. So let's run back. Uh, hopefully, the vehicle hasn't despawned. And hopefully my bike's still there. So let's see. Yay! That's the vehicle? No. Holy shit! Oh, that's the vehicle over there, alright, awesome. Let's uh let's put our bike, set our bike up uh, just behind the vehicle so oncoming traffic knows what's going on. That. I'm gonna uh, search the vehicle, even though it's stolen. Uh, anything we know, don't you do it. Don't you jump in this car. Don't you, ah, don't you dare hit me, you Attention son of a units. bitch. We have the person See, you're getting toast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this serious? I just want to do one legit episode. Just one legit episode and I can't even do that. Oh my god. Alright, so that guy's limping away, I'm not even going to bother with him. Uh, let's, like I was, <laughs> got, was saying before, before I really got interrupted by getting hit by a freaking car. We're going to check the vehicle even though it's owned to someone else. Uh, anything illegal in there, we're going to um, Attention charge unit one, to the, Lincoln, 18. We have uh, a robbery in uh, the Spushy Canal. Wow, LSPDFO is going spastic tonight. Absolutely spastic. This is Ocean One, we can get that. Uh, nothing of interest, nothing of interest. Alright, so we've found nothing in the vehicle. Let's get this towed out of here before we get killed. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna call that code 4. Uh, arrested that dude. And uh, stop the stolen vehicle, and uh, we'll head back out and continue our patrol. Attention, all units. We have a civilian in need of assistance in Rockford Hills. All right, so we're going to take this call out. That, we're on it's our way. A, uh, Adam, twelve. Roger. Someone code reporting three. a police impersonator. We're going to respond to code three to right, so this call. know how you like the bike, if you like it or not, or if you like the uh, vehicle controls better. Dispatch, we have a visual. One out of twelve. Ten four, copy that. Alright, let's, uh, let's pull up next to the driver. See if we can chat with him. Howdy. Uh, oh, geez, officer, am I glad to see you. Something just didn't add up. 
I was driving down the street, blah blah blah. Someone was seeing me pull over, the dude looked nothing like a cop. Drove off. Yeah, about this car it definitely wasn't a police car, but it sure hell dressed up looked like one. So we're looking for a dark steel coloured Granger. Uh, last three digits was 412. Target is heading westbound in Rockford Hills. Alright, so last reported in uh, Rockford Hills. Attention all units, medical aid requested in uh, it's Rockford requested. Hills. An ambulance requested from uh, Rockford Hills. Three. So we're looking for a dark coloured Granger, uh, last seen in Rockford Hills heading this direction I believe. Is this going to be it? This may be it. Suspect spotted heading northbound on um, Portola Drive. Okay, so they're heading north now. 412 Sweet is the geez. last numbers of the plate, dark still Granger. Last reported heading westbound in Rockford Hill. Well, it looks like they're doing circles. Uh, it always gets weird trying to find a vehicle in this uh, all out, but we'll try the best we can. 412, is that you? Spotted heading northbound in Rockford Hill. Wow. This becomes a wild goose chase sometimes. It takes too long to find it though. Suspect last seen heading southbound in Rockford Hill. Okay, so it looks like they're trying to make it uh, escape for it, is here. Dark skill four and two. There we go. Found him. Didn't take too long, see? Wow, he's all over the place. Right, uh, let's see if we can get a name uh, back the, with the plate. Uh, he's gonna, this is not gonna end. He's moving pretty quick for a uh, four-wheel drive, that's for sure. I'm definitely going to need uh, some backup on this Assistance one. Required. Got to be really careful with AI because they don't really tend to see the, me on the bike at all uh, very too often. So, we might just start uh, hang, hang back and see if we can support this, ch uh, this yeah, chase. Uh, we're gonna get a. Actually, we'll get a local air unit in as well. Attention, all units. We have units requesting helicopter support. Yeah. Fire with you. So we're going to lose him uh, in the hills. Uh, so it looks like we've got. Yeah, we've got three units with us now. We've got our uh, air unit as well. So we're going to take this call very seriously because it is a uh, police impersonator, uh, so he's more likely to be armed. So if we can get as many units on this as possible, we would. So I can just get down. Oh, no. oh, don't you dare shoot me! Shots fired. Alright, he's down. Whoa! Oh my god, now they're shooting civilians. No, stop shooting! Wow! Oh my god. What the heck is going 
Oh my goodness! What? Put on on the ground. On the ground before I shoot you. Down on the ground. Wow, what a mess! What a freaking mess! Alright, let's place this guy under arrest. We need EMS down here straight away. Attention all units, medical need requested. Yeah. Frenchman, officers report a civilian shot. We have multiple injuries. Dispatch units from, um, Rockford Hills Fire Department. Don't ask me how we're going to clean this up. From, uh, Rockford Hills. I don't know how we're going to clean it up, but let's attempt to anyway. Hey, um, SUV is en route. Wow. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to uh, boost the vehicles uh, out ourselves. In route, responding code three. Right, let's, so let's get this vehicle here. Wow, well, I've got police vehicles all over the place. This lady's still alive. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk uh, the ambulance to us. Is that the key? I don't know. We'll just wait for them to show up. Looks like they're here anyway. Wow! Look at that! Look at oh Wow! Holy shit! What the heck? <laughs> that ambulance is dancing to the music. This is crazy. Yeah, okay. Well, something's not right with the game. Uh, but we're gonna let's clean up the mess here, and we'll leave the call out there. We've got ambulance, fire engines, police, everybody here on the scene. Uh, while they're doing that and attending to that, let's uh, check this vehicle. See if we can find anything in there. Citizens report a suspicious person no, in uh, Tongva Hills. Units respond code 2. Postcard. Alright, so we didn't find anything. So let's uh, get a snow truck out there. Uh, so it looks like everybody died, um, including the, the guy that we were after, who was a police impersonator. Now what we're going to need to do is uh, call for a coroner to come down and clean the mess. Don't run me over, please. Everybody leave in a uh, safe uh, manner. Don't run people over. Get a prisoner transport out for this guy. Services on scene, as you can tell. It's like the tow trucks have uh, spawned on top of each other up there. At least the coroners are here, which is the main thing. But um, I'm going to leave the episode there for tonight, guys. I apologise that it didn't turn out so well. Uh, it just, yeah, I mean, it speaks for itself. It just glitched the hell out. Uh, something's out of date or something's not right, so I apologise for that. But let me know how you liked it anyway. Uh, you know, I don't really mind when things don't always go to plan. Uh, that's just Grand Theft Auto and LSPDFR for you. But um, thanks for watching guys and I will see you back again in another LSPDFR video uh, very soon.